Today we profile Bishop Robert Barron, a modern day Fulton J. Sheen. He does with words what Michelangelo did with a paintbrush. The man has the greatest vocabulary of anyone I've ever met in my life. He was born in Troy, Michigan, and when he was 10, they moved to Southwest Chicago. He earned a BA and MA in philosophy from Catholic University of America. He was ordained a priest in 1986. In the late 1990s, he bought airtime on WGN radio at 5.15 on Sunday mornings. His listeners were mainly truck drivers. This was the beginning of Word on Fire Catholic Ministries. In 2011, he published Catholicism, a 10-part documentary TV series that explores the cultural, spiritual, and historical elements of Catholicism. It aired on PBS. He thereby became the first priest to have a national show on a secular TV network since Bishop Fulton J. Sheen in the 1950s. From 2012 to 2015, he was the rector president of Mundelein Seminary. Since 2022, he's been the bishop of the Diocese of Winona, Rochester, Minnesota. Today, Word on Fire is a media ministry. Its purpose is to engage in the new evangelization using the new media, especially social media, the goal is to reach out to the nuns, N-O-N-E-S, those unaffiliated with any organized religion, and to reach out to the increasingly secularized world. It's the new evangelization through all kinds of different media. It currently has 3.2 million daily followers on Facebook. He's known as the Bishop of Social Media and the Bishop of the Internet. His regular YouTube videos have been viewed over 200 million times. He's arguably the greatest Catholic communicator of our time. www wordonfire.org and he's one of God's best messengers. Some quotes from Bishop Barron. The freedom and fullness of detachment is probably no better expressed than in John of the Cross's beautiful mantra, to reach satisfaction in all, desire satisfaction in nothing, to come to the knowledge of all, desire the knowledge of nothing, to arrive at being all, desire to be nothing. One of the most fundamental spiritual mistakes we can make is to think that we own the world. We are tenants entrusted with the responsibility of caring for it, but everything we have and are is on loan from God. It's not about aggrandizing the ego, but emptying it out. Forgiveness is an act, not an attitude. Love, love is to will the good of the other. What the Lord proposes is not a freedom from suffering, but what is much more important, a freedom from the self. God's mercy and love is more powerful than anything in the world. The only things we'll have in heaven are the things we gave away on earth. I said that again. The only things we'll have in heaven are the things we gave away on earth. We are exceptionally good at seeing the faults in others and exceptionally adept at ignoring the faults. In ourselves. He wrote his philosophy of life. 
as St. Augustine said, that all of us are wired for God. The central tragedy of human life is directing one's desire for God to something less than God. And St. Thomas Aquinas said, the four principal substitutes for God are wealth, pleasure, power, and honor. The key to happiness, therefore, is being detached from these four things and remaining attached to God. Since God is love, the good life is not a matter of filling oneself up, but rather emptying oneself out, becoming attuned to the divine love. Blessings, Most Reverend Robert Barron, Bishop of Winona, Rochester. That's the story of the Most Reverend Bishop Robert Barron. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy these messages of hope and inspiration, like, subscribe, and or share them with family and friends. Until we meet again, please remember, with God, anything is possible. Spawn.